Hello, Stephen Clark and friends back again with news from Thailand and all over Southeast Asia. Hope you're all fit and well. Let's see what we got on today's menu. Thailand needs to step up protection of school children from sexual attacks. A mall in Thailand replaces lift buttons with the pedals. Quite an ingenious idea. The continuing saga of Thai Airlines now 6,000 employees to be laid off. The governor of a Thai jail has been sacked over allowing sex with a married couple. Thailand begins Chinese coronavirus vaccine trials on monkeys. Panasonic Thailand will close two facilities and move them to Vietnam. And the perils lurking beneath the waste in Thailand. And sharing the truth during Thailand's lockdown. Demonstrators have resorted to using laser lights to get their message across. This is a follow-up of the last article we did on chemical castration for sex offenders. Thailand needs to protect school children from sexual attacks. A network of 92 organizations have called on the Education Ministry to step up measures to stamp out sex attacks on school children following recent abuse scandals in three provinces. Network representatives on Friday handed a letter to Education Minister urging him to take action to protect the school children. Manager of the Women's Wellbeing and Gender Justice Program, Warapon Chamsunit, said schools should be a safe place for children. She also called on the Education Ministry to not stand idly by children and their parents seek justice on their own. The Ministry, she said, must step forward and file lawsuits against offending teachers. Furthermore, it offers legal help to victims, families and provides school children with protection and counselling. If teacher personnel are guilty of sex crimes, the minister must dish out severe punishment, above all by sacking them and revoking their teacher's licence, Ms Wurupon said. The Ministry must come up with protective measures to prevent such incidents in school. School directors and teachers must have guidelines on protecting school children's rights, gender and equality, Ms Warapon added. Rest assured, the Education Ministry will not let wrongdoers remain in the education circle and ruin the reputation of other teachers and schools, they said. Many rape cases in Thailand end in a settlement out of court at the encouragement of the police officers. This even includes cases involving underage children. Some of the perpetrators are powerful people or employer of the victims and they end up talking to police and clearing up the problem. Also this month a 39 year old teacher in Buri Rum was accused of molesting a 12 year old girl last month. A primary school director in Pachinbon was charged with abusing a student in a video that went viral. Also, police in the northern province of Chiang Mai have arrested a 60-year-old Australian man for being in possession of child pornography. Mr. Wayne Jeffrey McCullen, 60, was in possession of child pornography. Police seized a mobile phone and also a tablet, both containing a large amount of child pornography. Mr McLaughlin confessed that the seized items belonged to him. Police also discovered an email account in his name which he used to distribute the child pornography. So now the Australian man may be facing a 10-year jail sentence in a Thai jail. As you can see this genius is spreading saliva on the buttons on a BTS elevator in Bangkok. Thanks to the alert of security personnel who noticed his queer behavior on CCT footage. And as you can see, he reaches down into his groin and starts uh, getting the sweat from there and putting all over the buttons. He was identified later as a 32 year old Thai national. But now a shopping mall in Thailand may have come up with a unique answer to this problem. The lift in Bangkok's Sikon Square one of the largest shopping malls in Bangkok, has taken a unique approach to reducing spread of CCC virus outbreaks. 
They've installed pedals on their lifts so users can use their feet to go to a particular floor rather than using their hands to press the buttons. Although customers were surprised at first, they reported to have welcomed the unique approach to help prevent the spread of the Chinese coronavirus. It's an ingenious idea and will make shoppers feel a little bit more secure from the Chinese coronavirus outbreak. Thailand has started to open up their mouths again on the 17th of May as numbers of the Chinese coronavirus outbreak cases had slowed down. And these pedals on elevators may just help to prevent the spread of the Chinese coronavirus. Thai Airways to make redundant 6,000 jobs due to their bankruptcy procedure and debts in excess of a staggering 200 billion baht, the government said. The Thai cabinet decided to push Thai Airways into a bankruptcy procedure under the Bankruptcy Act and ordered the Ministry of Finance to sell its majority stakes in the airline. Thai Airways will stop repaying all debt and start from scratch, the government said. According to the size of the debt, 30% of its over 20,000 employees or over 6,000 personnel will have to be dismissed. The rehabilitation of the airline could take at least one year. The bankruptcy must be declared in the US as well as in Thailand to avoid planes being seized or other assets forfeited. The redundant employers will receive 10 months compensation according to the Thai labor laws. The turnaround of the airline into profit could take up to a year, experts are predicting. Should prisoners in Thailand have a little hanky-panky on the side? Not in Thailand, apparently. The governor of a prison in the northern province has been dismissed for allowing an inmate to have sex with his wife in a plantation near the prison. According to sources of the correction department, an anonymous source in the correction department, they say the governor also allowed inmates to use cell phones and cash, as well as cutting down some trees without permission. But the alleged sex visit led to his promotion. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Ultimately led to his dismissal. Correction Department Director General Polko Naras Sevestanan yesterday confirmed that a subcommittee had decided on Wednesday to dismiss 15 correctional officials. Two of them were found to have drugs on their possession. One seized an illegal mobile phone from an inmate and demanded money in return for not reporting it. Two smuggled mobile phones into the prison, one forged a signature to illegally withdraw trainees' fee and another took bribes for allow mobile phones and illegal drugs to be thrown over the prison walls. Thai prisons are not like they are in the Western world. They are cramped, bad food, well, virtually dungeons. So you really don't want to end up in one. But unfortunately, a lot of foreigners end up in Thai jails for various reasons. But good to see now if you pay a little bit of extra money, you can have a little bit of sex on the side. Oh, no, 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 wait, no, the guy got fired, so that's out of the question. Thailand begins Chinese coronavirus vaccine trials on monkeys. They began testing the vaccine against the Chinese coronavirus on monkeys after positive trials on mice, an official has stated. Thailand's Ministry of Higher Education, Science and Research and Innovation, Suvit Maisansi, said researchers had moved testing of the vaccine to monkeys and hoped to have a clear outcome of its effectiveness by September. This project is for the human race, not just for Thais, the Prime Minister Priyat Achinachat has outlined in a policy that we must develop a vaccine and join the world community workforce on this. Thailand announced on Wednesday that it was developing a vaccine, one of at least 100 potential vaccines, in the works worldwide and hoped to have it produced by next year. Thailand has started reserving two manufacturers for its vaccine. Since a new virus has emerged in China late last year and has spread around the world infecting more than 5 million people and killing more than 300,000. The Thai vaccine uses messenger RNA which prompts body cells to produce antigens, molecules 
on the surface of the virus that spur the immune system into action. The Thai vaccine is being developed by the National Vaccine Institute and the Department of Medical Science and of course Chalanchongkhan University, a vaccine research center. Panasonic to close two factories in Thailand and move them to Vietnam. The Panasonic Corporation will shut down its factory in Thailand and move it to the newer and larger one in Vietnam as part of its consolidation plan, a company official said. Unfortunately, about 800 Thai employees will be let go in the move, said Panasonic's head of corporate communications, Sirirat. The plant will shut down in October and an adjacent research and development centre will be shut down by March 2021. Surat said the move was planned since November of last year. We want to improve our productivity and our efficiency via the consolidation. It has nothing to do with the current situation in the Chinese coronavirus pandemic, Surat said. Panasonic has 20 business units which include 10 factories in Thailand. The move means two units, the factory which has been operating since 1979 and its R&D arm. This will leave Panasonic with 18 units in Thailand, which will continue to employ 13,700 people. The remaining business units will continue operation as normal, Surat also said. What a load of rubbish. Rubbish or garbage? Collection has its hidden surprises. Mr. Surratt and his fellow workers have before paid the price for doing their job. Mr. Surratt lost fingers with a hidden bomb five years ago, and two of his other workers suffered injury when the ping pong bomb exploded. Now with the extra threat of the CCP virus, their dresses change as they don their protective gear before setting off for a night's work. So to these unsung heroes, thank you very much. Johnny here. Share the truth coming to a building near you. The progressive movement is stepping up its campaign with the use of laser projection to show and remind people of the loss of life of people expressing their views via the military crackdowns. So let's have hope that all this ends peacefully. Johnny out.